Oh, hallelujah. For the first time, I can see the Hadley Reel, the lava tube on the moon in the Hadley Mountain of the Apennine Mountains on the moon where the Apollo 15 landed. Oh, amazing. This is the SV Bunny zoom, and this is a three millimeter setting. And I'm using the Scott Watcher ED120. Amazing. For the first time, I had so many eyepieces, I never saw this. This is sharp. This is the best eyepiece. The video is not as sharp as the visual view, but uh, yet you can get the idea. It was really visible, clearly. Had the real <laughs> the craters in, around it. I thought for a moment if I, if I can see the St. George crater, that's in the Hadley Delta mountain. That is amazing view of this uh, beautiful, rare uh, sight of this uh, future. This is a good test for uh, air clarity, seeing conditions, also the optics of the telescope and the eyepiece. Wow, I've never seen such a clear view of the Jupiter. That is amazing. This is the Svibony zoom and I'm using the 5mm setting of it. And I can see the Io, the actual Io as a dot passing in front of the planet. Amazing. The belts are so clear. I can see festoons and, uh, you know, blue lines in the, in the equatorial belts, south and north. Amazing details. Let me just increase the magnification. Wow, three millimeter. <laughs> three millimeter. Now look at that Jupiter. There is no limit in the magnification. Its details have increased as the magnification increased. And it's amazing. The limitation is not the optics, it's my eye. I have to you know, push my floaters away by concentration. So that's amazing. The clearest view of the Jupiter I've ever seen with this telescope on 3 millimeter eyepiece. Uh, I have used the 3.5 millimeter Pentax, but this is better than that, it seems to be. I never thought I can see this. I see one crater inside the floor of the plateau. Plateau is a dark uh, crater in the southern part of the moon and I can see one crater inside it. And the observers will say they can see three, four, but uh, probably with a different instrument. With this one, I never saw, never with any equipment I never saw. Now I see. It's very rare actually you can see that. And I, I feel really lucky I saw one crater inside the plateau. <laughs> the setting is uh, three millimeters, yes. Amazing. Yes, the details I can see in the Rima Higginis and the crater in it. I can see details in the crater of the Rima Higginis. And also the Rima Ariadius is very clear. <laughs> oh, never seen it so clear. I have a video with the Teleview Nagler 7mm comparing it with the, I think, Pentax 7mm. And, um, yeah, I think Pentax was better. Um, but I've now, I can say that this is better than that. <laughs> that Pentax is bet. This is better than Pentax. I'm using the setting of 8mm. Very easy to see. Details I can see in them. The shadows inside, there are so many details inside those. Um, the crater in the middle of the Eumahiginis and also the bends and the curvatures of that.
Okay, just to show you what the kind of detail I'm seeing, uh, of course, I'm seeing a lot of details in the Rima Higgins crater. This is the moon, and I'm seeing it through a thin layer of haze. And of course, that bright object is the, beside it is a planet Jupiter, which was also I was looking at. I tried also to look at the planet Saturn. It was a little bit too much haze in the sky. I tried it uh, with a different setting. This is uh, with a four millimeter SV bony. And uh, this is what I could see. First, it's very overexposed, but it shows the, one of the satellites, or two or three actually, yeah, two of the satellites. And the other one uh, uh, actually lowered the exposure. You can see some Cassini division and some details anyway in the rings and a little bit more on the disk of the planet. I could do it better, but I was tired. <laughs>